Hi Sarah, this is Stephanie. Thanks so much for reaching out on my post. In this video, I'm going to compare your website up against the top two competitors in your area. So the three things I wanna to talk to you about are content, citations, and backlinks. So as far as content goes, Google likes to see at least 1,500 words of keyword-rich content on your homepage. We see that you only have a couple hundred words, so you definitely wanna get more added. Um, also, when Google is crawling your page, they don't see images, so they read what's behind the image. So we see that this is saved as unnamed, so you definitely want to get the images saved as keywords. Taking a look at your competitor, John Moore, uh, they have a pretty decent amount of content, and this is really, this is a back page for them, so this is not even their home page. So I would imagine this is actually a Houston company who has ranked their back page for your area. Uh, same thing with Abacus. Uh, they're in Houston and their back page is ranking in the organic section for uh, plumbers. So, you know, their back pages have lots of content on them, so we definitely want to get more content added to your homepage. The next thing I wanted to talk to you about are citations. So when we search for plumber, uh, Pearland, Texas, the first thing we're going to see is the paid ads. The next is the map pack, and below that is the organic section. So citations come to play in the map pack, and it's really just your business name, your address, uh, we'll use this one, business name, address, and phone number listed in different directories throughout the internet, such as Yelp and White Pages, and even Facebook has a spot for a directory. So the tool I like to use for that is called whitespark.ca. So we see that you guys have 14 citations. Um, 1-800-PLUMBER has 24 and uh, Perlin Plumbing has 39. So what I always recommend is just to add two to 300 to beat your competition by a landslide. So the last thing I wanna to talk to you about are backlinks, and that's how you're gonna rank here in the organic section. And a backlink is simply just one site linking to another site. Uh, not all backlinks are created equal, so Google likes to see relative backlinks pointing back to you. So say a plumber in California is gonna be a lot more effective than say Pizza Hut, because Google knows you're not in the pizza industry. So the site that I like to use for that is called Ahrefs. So when we plug uh, John Moore in, we see that his back page actually doesn't have any backlinks. Uh, Abacus has only three. And when we plug you guys in, we see you don't have really any information. So we can take a look at the one keyword that you're being, well, not being found for, but Armstrong Plumbing. So your name is a keyword, but you're in the 66th position for that keyword. So really quick, let's take a look at the volume in your area. So we see that Pearland, Texas, Pearland TX Plumber has 30 searches a month. Uh, plumbers in Pearland, there's another 70. Pearland Plumber, there's 50. Um, plumber Pearland, there's another 60. So, you know, there's a couple hundred searches in your area that you're not being found for. Um, and that also doesn't include the surrounding smaller cities that you could be found for as well. So uh, just to do a recap for you, you want to go ahead and get at least 1,500 words of keyword-rich content on your homepage. Uh, get your photos optimized with keywords. Go ahead and add, I'd say, two to 300 citations to your GMB, or your Google My Business listing, so you can start ranking in the map pack. And then you want to get uh, some relative... Uh, trustworthy backlinks pointing back to your website so you can start ranking. That's it. That's all I have for you. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out. And thanks so much for watching this video.